Center. This is Richard Garriott coming to you from the International Space Station. I'd like to talk to you about magnetism. Some people have wondered if magnets work in space. Well, I have with me here a couple of magnets, and you can see that uh, not only uh, do they, of course, float, but uh, if I bring another magnet nearby, it will affect and attract the other magnet. As you probably know, a north and south end of a magnet attract each other. But if you put the two like poles together, they'll repel. And instead you'll see that it will turn around and attach from the other side. And that works in space just the same way as it does on the ground. The Earth's magnetic field is generated on the interior of the Earth, but reaches out way beyond the Earth, including out here into space. And so if I take a magnet, for example, this one that I have in my hand, and I release it here into the space around me, you'll notice that even if I tip it over, it will tend, it will slowly come to a rest with one, with one end of it pointing to the south, because we're the, the space station right now is traveling to the south, but also slightly down. And the reason why it's aiming slightly down is because the Earth's magnetic field comes out of the poles of the Earth and spreads out through space. So if we were to fly over the south magnetic pole, the south end of this magnet would actually point straight at the ground. But since right now we're flying over Australia, it's only pointed down at somewhat of an angle. If we were flying in the northern hemisphere, say over England, for example, or Canada, the other end of this magnet would be pointing down. A magnet, such as I have here, creates a magnetic field that comes out of one end, goes around around the object, outside of the object, and comes in the other end. And so in this case, this magnet, which acts just like a compass, will align itself with the Earth's magnetic field. And so if I release this magnet here in front of me, you can see that the magnet is now pointing this way. That's the south end of the magnet, by the way, and that's because the Ice Space Station is headed south. We're over Australia right now. And uh, just in the few minutes that I've been standing here uh, working with this magnet, it's aiming farther and farther to the ground because we're getting closer and closer to the Earth's magnetic south pole. If we were traveling over Canada, you would see that the other end of this magnet would aim more towards the ground as we got closer and closer to the northern magnetic pole. Also, this is actually two magnets, and you can see that uh, magnetic forces operate over a distance and that the north end and south end of a magnet attract each other, whereas if I turn it around and try to put the, uh, the two uh, north ends together, you'll see that it turns the magnet over and attracts it. There we go, we can start it, we can start it lined up with the Earth's magnetic field, and it will attract. Or if I start it lined up with the Earth's magnetic field but approach it with the opposite end, There you go.